people look at Las Vegas as a, a place where you can come and get rich quick, whether it be through gambling or the rapid growth that's here in the valley. When they get here, some of them don't realize the dream, and that's where I encounter a lot of these people. This special edition of Cops was filmed with the Metropolitan Police Department of Las Vegas, Nevada. All suspects are considered innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Metro Police, what's the problem? Well, there's been a slight case of rape involved. When when did this happen? Pardon? When did this happen? Just a few minutes ago. The girl's over here right now at my what? apartment. Is... Does she need an ambulance at all? No, I don't think she needs an ambulance. I'm putting ice packs on her head right now, but she's just hysterical a little bit, you know. Are the guys still in the other apartment? Yeah, they are. Okay, we'll have somebody come over, Tom, all right? Just keep her in your apartment. Beg your pardon? Keep her in your apartment. We'll keep her here. No Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Hi. Are you Tom? Yeah, I am. What happened? Yes. What's her name? Kelly. Kelly. Kelly, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. I know that you're very upset. Okay. Were you in here? Were you in here? No, she was there. She's over there. Is that what she knows? No, she was visiting. It's Does she know these guys? Do we know? Yeah. She was visiting. Yeah, she's just a guy over here. How old are the guys involved? Uh, how? Uh, Kelly, was, was there one or, or more than one, dear? Okay. How old is he? How would you say so? In his late 40s, 50s. Been already sleeping in her house coat, and this guy comes over and starts feeling her, sticking his fingers in, and everything else. The guy's like five, almost fifty years old. You know, he's mm -hmm. old. I've seen him out here by the jacuzzi. The guy doesn't live there, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know him. I mean, I've talked to him, but I don't really know him. She went in the back bedroom to go to sleep. Uh, the subject, who's probably fifty years old, came into the bedroom and was telling her she she was asleep, and he was telling her that she, he was this guy Drew, her friend. Okay. Uh, and put his fingers inside of her. There wasn't a 426, it was an attempt. He put his fingers inside of her, uh, was grabbing her, wouldn't let her up. But apparently this Drew and his friends who are at the apartment now all knew that, that they at least knew that they were in the apartment. Mm -hmm. So she called the guy that lives here and he came over there and got her. She's real upset right now. Uh, when, when I first asked for you, I, I thought we had an actual 426, but it looks like it's... Well, did he actually make penetration? With his fingers. Okay. Um, okay, Barry, that's great crunches on the phone. Yeah, I had great crunches call her because she's like in a panic. Okay, let me uh, see if I can talk to her. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Good evening, gentlemen. Who else is in the apartment? Go ahead, give me a reason. Get in here. Get in here! Give me a reason. Are you Phil? Do what? Are you Phil? I'm Ron. I'm not Phil. Where's Phil? He's in the bedroom. Sit down. 
<laughs> Bill, come on out here, please. Hang on now, fellas. Get up. Get up. Get up. What? Get up. What? Get up. It's the police. Get up. What? Apparently, you don't understand. I don't understand. Let me help you. Hang on now. No. You want to no, fight? Wait a minute. No, I don't want to fight. I just want to know what's going on. What the story? Come here. Are we going to fight? No. Put your arm behind your back. Yeah. Now. Now. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Get up. Easy, easy. You don't need to get serious here. You might be through. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, who are you? Sit there. What's your last name, Mary? Cazelli. Cazelli? Yeah. What's your name? Ron. What's your last name? Christensen. Hey, gentlemen. Uh, you know, you know what's going on? No, no. Okay, was there, was there a young lady here earlier today? Earlier tonight, drinking? Yes. Okay. We have a, uh, report of a rape. Hmm. I don't know. By you. Yeah. You need not, and you need not answer any questions until that attorney has been Hang appointed for you. Hang up you the phone. You decide to answer questions now. You may stop at any time. Are you confused? No, not really. You have some kind of neurological problem where you can't understand you English? No, I have, I have no problem done, with English. The question will stop. You understand that? When I ask you to do something, I expect that? you to do it. Yeah. Or no, you can you go, know. too, whichever you prefer. No, sir, I was just making a phone call, okay. you know. You're not going to make it a phone call while I'm conducting an investigation. You want to investigate? Investigate. You know, what's what's the problem here? You know, really? seriously. We've been here all <laughs> we've been, uh, Are we all putting up any, any force? Or? Yeah, as a matter of fact. Is that okay, right? Yeah. Your buddy's jumping out the window back here, right. and he wants to wrestle right. me on the bed. Come you got some warrants? Really? Yeah. Why are you going out the window? I, I knew I knew we got in a little conflict with Kelly tonight. She'd been here for two days. And I, you know, I, I just come home and I, I seen her. She was in there passed out. So with my... Hey, was she in the bed? Yes, yeah, she was in the bed, yes. Okay. And she was stark naked, okay. And I went in there and laid down. And I've been drinking. We had a little party and everything. And but I didn't, uh, I did not rape her. I did not, she had all her clothes off when she was in bed, before she got in the bed, okay? Okay, that's serious. Yeah. And uh, I didn't do anything wrong to her. And then she got up screaming. And she said she spent the night over the other apartment. So I'm going back over there to have another talk with her. I think what we got is a 408 that was really, just something got out of hand. But See, I don't think so. Uh, for for whatever she did prior to tonight, I think the old man forced herself on it. Well, that could be, but we got to get something straight with her first. So before we start taking any action on this, I got to make sure that we got a case that Monday morning is going to be the same as it is tonight. Unfortunately, a lot of times when things like this go to the jury, it becomes a, a moral question rather than a legal question, and I don't think the moral question needs to be answered here. I think the legal question needs to be answered. And the only issue is whether he forced himself on her or he didn't. Um, the evidence that that I can see at this point would indicate that he did. Otherwise, we wouldn't have made an arrest. Um, we definitely have probable cause to believe that he sexually assaulted her. Well, often, uh, very definitely is a boom town. When I transferred down here approximately six years ago, there was only 92 actual residents living on the Nevada side of the river. And our static population now is approximately 4,500 people. Uh, as far as tourism goes, last New Year's Eve uh, weekend, we had uh, 70,000 people in this community. One of our problems down here and concerns is uh, we have a significant transient problem down here. A lot of people coming to this community uh, because it's nationally known as a boom, boom town and they're expecting to get uh, 
work right away and it draws those type of people. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, check on those kids. Affirmative. Yeah, they didn't say he wasn't going to get back with us, so uh, Tom said he ever called back. We're going to go inside right now and try and get some information from one of the security supervisors uh, in reference to some children that may be uh, living inside of a trailer under uh, conditions that may not be safe or uh, sanitary for the children. Hi guys, how you doing? Bill, what's going on? Is uh, Jimbo or Denny around? Denny, I think. Do you guys have information possibly on the two girls that are supposedly little girls that are living out in a uh, trailer out in your parking lot? I think so. If somebody knows where that's at, I'd like to have somebody show me. We need to check on it and see if they're around. Okay? Have you seen inside the trailer at all? To see what kind of conditions the trailer's in? There's a big dog in the way, and I didn't want to get chewed up. It should be right up here. This one right here? Yeah. All right. Right here. They are here. Hey, puppy. Down, boy. Hello, how you doing? John Size from Metro. Um, I've got some complaints here in reference to the care that your children are receiving while they're staying in the trailer. I need to come in now in order to determine whether or not there's any type of a neglect situation occurring here, okay? Is there anybody else here with you? Hi kids, how you doing? You're are you're not the father? No. Okay. Let me explain something to you, okay? By Nevada state law, these children have been put in a situation that's unsanitary. There's not the proper facilities for raising these kids right in this trailer. As a result, they are going to be taken to child haven. Huh? Let me explain something to me. You and your you and you and your you and your little sister, your little brother there have to go with us. We're going to take you to a place called Child Haven, okay? And there's nothing to be afraid of. They have toys there and there's other kids. And then your mom will come and get you on Monday, okay? So you just have to stay there for two days, okay? Is there any special animal you want to bring with you? Do you have any stuffed animal or doll that you like to bring along? Okay. How about, how about, how about uh, Cordell? Does he have any special toy? One little special toy he'd like to bring with him? Okay, why don't you grab a jacket? Is this yours, hon? Will you help me with Cordell and to explain what's going on? I appreciate you being nice about this, hon. I need you. You're acting like a real big girl. I appreciate that. Cordell, we're going to go someplace to stay where there's other kids and some toys for you to play with, and your mama come get you in a couple of days, okay? And your sister's going to go with us, okay? Come here, Corey. And there's other little kids there, and you can play and stuff, okay? Come here, buddy. I want you to know I appreciate your cooperation. I just don't have any choice in this. Just go. Just go. Before I, I'm not so cooperative. So I suggest you remain cooperative. Just go. I'm not really happy with this situation. Danny, would you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you ride with Mike to the station? Sure. And uh, we'll put the children in with you. Okay. I want to tell him that he has to be out of here by tomorrow. Okay. We're going to go uh, head to the casino now to uh, make contact with the mother. I received information that she's uh, currently working there to explain to her that we've taken custody of the children. Hi, Bobby. How you doing? Fine. Uh, let me explain something to you. We received numerous complaints uh, from people at the Ramada parking lot over the last two days in reference to uh, your children uh, being left unsupervised for periods of time. Really? Uh, because of the information, okay, I understand, but because of the information I received, I went over there tonight. Uh, because of what I saw, uh, the place, I don't know any other way to put it, it's just a mess. Yeah. Uh, there's no ice box or refrigerator with any type of food for the children. The uh, toilet facilities aren't working. Uh, when I open the door to the bathroom, it just plain stank, and the place is just not fit for a child. So, uh, when, I, when, I, when I looked at the children, uh, they are not very clean. Well, they uh, hadn't had a bath today. No. I, I understand They're that. Kids. They're cho I know, and I realize that, but the clothes are real soiled. Uh, due to the fact that I received numerous complaints, I am to, the children are going to be taken to Child Haven up in Las Vegas. It, they're going to be up there with other children. It's not going to be in the detention area. They'll be up there in a the regular kids' area, okay? Right. So you don't have to worry about them. 
but some other arrangements are going to have to be made. Well, I can send it back to my mom. I, I understand, and if you can satisfy juvenile authorities, there won't be any problem. Okay. I understand you're working hard, you're trying to get on your feet, but once I learn this and I see the conditions you're living in, Bob, I can't, I can't leave them in that. Do you yeah. understand? All right. Okay. All right. All right I'm going to go. All I'll see you later. Who's hungry here? Me. All right. Do you eat a lot of pizza? A lot of pizza. Some napkins. Is this mine? That's yours. This sure is yours. This is good. Is that good pizza? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Three married looking for Sands in the boulevard. It's been referenced to a subject crawling in the backyard. Patrol Mary 34, can I have the air unit room? They're unavailable at this time. Okay. Phoenix Chicago, Mary 12, I'm talking. You're on a 4068. What are you doing here? Don't worry about it, man. Pardon me? What I said. Oh, what'd you say? Ooh. Don't spit at me. John, you know you. Get up. You done being stupid? Yeah. Okay. There. How's that? Are you seeing a doctor for this? Yeah. Okay. You taking medication? What are you taking? 151 or what? Kumbia. Huh? Kumbia. Kumbia? Kumbia. Copenhagen? Kumbia. I don't understand drunk. Code 45. Yeah. Nothing? Get a larceny and trespass. Well, he's got a public nuisance now. Huh? What's the matter? There'll be a 401A. We have uh, traffic in the road, please. Acknowledge. What'd you have for dinner tonight? 135 in Route 12 Control. Oh. Information, I have 135 in route on a 401 in Spring Mountain in Arville. Let's walk. Come on. You gonna walk or what? Ugh. Hey, what are you? Gave you every opportunity in the world to walk. Emergency 114. 911 emergency. I've got a runaway vehicle traveling in circles in the west parking lot of the Mirage. It's an unoccupied vehicle traveling in circles. That copy. He said that uh, he doesn't know where the driver's at, but it's going around in circles with nobody in it. front end swinging yeah. like that. We can't do that. Nope. <laughs> 
You guys got a big semi truck around here somewhere? Made $50, it'll probably cost you $500 to get that trailer. Right, that trailer. Especially if it's their trailer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't break. How many times I hit that thing? <laughs> that was good. Probably. Might have a little, might have a little rough on a transmission, but. <laughs> Do you see how we saw that in? Just jumped in. There, right? No, I broke the window and jumped in. <laughs> you couldn't get on the front side. It's working us way down this way. It was ready to drive in the truck down there, so we had it. Get in. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get the glass out of the car here for you. How'd this happen? It slipped out of park. Oh, I see. Either I didn't have it all the way in park or it slipped out of park. Uh huh. So I went to get in another girl's car and then let it run it. And then it hit the trailer and started going in a circle. Uh huh. I don't know how it got out of uh, park, but it did. But to drive it to be okay as long as you're in it. The big thing, nobody got hurt. Right. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Coverage code 3. Okay, we'll still send a code 3. 